It is an absolute pleasure to be back on New Nation. Francis Maxwell here from TYT Sports doing what we do best, and that is talking some tactics ahead of the big game this weekend. So without further ado, let's talk some tactics. So Barcelona continued their unbeaten streak, 25 games it was up again until they played Balbao uh, during the week, and they continued that as they went on to win 3-1. So tactically, Barcelona is not going to be much different compared to how Luis Enrique's men do face up in most of their opponents. Atletico are a tough opponent. They have conceded the least goals in La Liga, by far one of the best defensive teams in Europe. Eight goals, I believe, from 21 games. They've only, con they've only conceded eight goals. So uh, they're definitely a team that's harder to break down than most. But if one team can do it, you know it's Barcelona. So let's look at this lineup that I imagine Barcelona will be going with. According to reports, Jordi Alba is back fresh-faced and fit to play in this game. So Bravo should be in goals. That back four of Alves, PK, Mascherano, and Alba. That midfield three, that uh, despite, if it wasn't for the fact that the front three rock stars were in front of them, they probably would get a lot more recognition, but nonetheless, still a phenomenal trio in there. Rakitic, Biscuits, and Iniesta, and of course, MSN up top. Now, I want to talk about a couple of things about Atletico Madrid, in which I have noticed, and, and I want to reference Barcelona, as to what I think they did very well, specifically in the first leg against Athletic Balbao. So coming out against Atletico Madrid, what you're going to see is two main banks of four, right? So when you're going forward tactically, what Atletico are trying to do is they're going to try and neutralize this space in here where Lionel Messi likes to do most of his work, tucks in. What usually happens is you'll get Neymar out wide, Suarez will take things in the point, and this is where they try to stretch this defense to create those gaps. What I've seen from Atletico Madrid, specifically against Las Palmas, is uh, when you lure out one of the fullbacks, whether it's Juan Fran or Philip Luis, it creates a little bit of a gap in the structure. That is where they almost conceded, and that's where they did concede midweek against Celta Vigo. So what happens in this example is uh, what, what Barcelona could do to utilize this is overwhelm those flanks, overwhelm the wide areas where Atletico are already going to be focusing a lot of their efforts because when, they, when that back four is then sheltered with another front four midfield, it becomes a brick wall, which Diego Simone loves to create, makes it very hard for teams like Barcelona to try and find those intricate gaps but of course, Barcelona will find a way. Uh, but this is, a, this is a bit an easier way, I would say, to create those gaps. So what I would like to see from Barcelona with Alba coming back is what will happen is you'll get Neymar trying to get the ball out wide as quick as possible. Alba needs to make this sort of run to try and drag out that right midfielder, whoever it may be, or Atletico Madrid, make him aware of that run. And Barcelona do this very well. It's a decoy run. The standard tactical uh, form of utilizing your wide men to, uh, to create a gap in the midfield. What this does is it should then pose a question for whether Juan Fran or Philip Luis will now need to track this runner or check to the man. And Neymar then does what he does best, cuts inside. Before you know it, the starts to either he's going to form a gap in this area for an overlapping run or for Suarez to check into or for, the, for then Lionel Messi to find this gap in here. Because what it does, in order to break this system, you either have to take on a man or you have to flood an area and, and, and provide overwhelming numbers. That's what Barcelona will do. They're at home. Big park. Every plate of grass, Barcelona know inside out. That is something that they have done, and they utilize their ability to go wide. But also, what I have seen recently, going back to that game against Bilbao, if you remember, five passes is all it took to get that first goal from Minia. Five passes. That's coming from the right back area. So I'll, I'll talk you through what this means, especially against Atletico Madrid. This is something that I felt Barcelona have uh, adopted since Messi was both not playing until and when he come back and is present, is they utilize their, their ability to get direct passes into their, uh, their, their best players in positions of space. So what I mean by that is before you used to see Barcelona continuously feed the ball into the midfield, then try and find Messi in this area. And often that would leave them susceptible to have areas crowded out, especially against teams like Atletico Madrid. But what will happen, and you'll see this more often with Barcelona, is they'll get the ball wide first and it's simply direct passes. This example I reference is against Bilbao. You may remember it. Rakitic took it upon himself to make this run right in behind. And that was with Lionel Messi checking inside. And what this did is this basically caused the fullback to check into an area where he was unfamiliar. Rakitic made this run. The ball found its way to him, drove the cross, and Manir made this run in behind. And it was a beautiful, constructed, I would say, unique goal for Barcelona because of how quick they transitioned from defense to into that position of danger. And it's something that they will have to do. They'll have to mix up those attacks against Atletico Madrid. Because Atletico are going to be expecting the ball to get to Neymar. And then for him to work his magic combining with Suarez and Messi. So those are a couple of tips I think Barcelona should do 
offensively, taking into account what Atletico, those rare moments of weakness that they showcase, and I think that in doing so, they could find some success in behind. Well, let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, come back over here to TYT Sports. You'll see tactical analysis from every potential big game that we see, whether it is Premier League or La Liga. And we talk about other sports as well. Maybe basketball is your fancy. I know Spain is very big on that sport now. So come over here and chat with us at TYT Sports. And thanks for having us on.